In my last video, I had attempted to, uh, well, after porting, you know, making the input nozzle larger to remove restrictions by cutting out large portions of the the frame of this, including the outlet, which I removed. Uh, and uh, while current capacity might have gone up, voltage, of course, didn't go up. Uh, I don't know. It's just it's not making enough power yet. And I thought before I completely abandon these that I try doing the same thing to this one as I did to this one and by opening it up. So we'll try doing that. Now in this case, Oh, you see that? It's kind of got some wear on it. it. Doesn't have as much play in the in the shaft. Um, in this case, I I do still have to retain a little bit of the bottom of it to keep this from popping off. I mean, I don't think it would naturally, but I'm gonna leave the bottom and I'm gonna first try removing the nozzle portion and maybe a portion over here that's next to where the impeller is. Maybe a portion over here too. And we'll see if that increases or decreases the resistance internally. To do these modifications, I'm using um, one of these oscillating tools. This is a Bosch 12 volt um, PS50. If you don't know you'd need one of these, then the 12 volt would probably be suitable. Um, but if you know what these are, you'll know that 12 volts is probably not going to be enough. You would want an 18 volt version or a plug-in version. But in a pinch, this will do most uh, amateur carpentry work or modification of plastic bits that you might need. You know, for now, I think I'm just going to leave leave this portion on because um, it might actually contain the water, and then I'll just clean up these edges with a utility knife. I'll do this off camera. It's too hard to do in front of the camera. Now I got to put it all back together. Here I have it on, let's see what it does. It's pointed away from my face though. I can feel it spinning in there, that's an odd sensation. And obviously it's flowing a lot better. Um, all the water that was coming through here initially was trying to go through that port that was right here. And you can see some of it wants to exit out on the second relief port that I added here. And I can't tell if a whole lot of it is getting run around a few times. I might need to open up more sides of this. And the water's warm because it's in my black pipe here. And there it's cold now. I'll just try shorting this, see what it does. It changes it a little bit. Um, so I'll try connecting it to my power line here. Okay. Let's go inside and see what it's making. Power line, it's on 20 volts. And we'll see what it's getting, what it's making us. Hope for somewhere around 12. Nope. It's more. 
And at this point, I'm just kind of playing around. Compressor, 150 PSI voltmeter on, you know, let's put it up to 500 volts DC. And I, I don't want to put it any higher than that because I don't know at what point this would disintegrate and throw shrapnel everywhere. So, what was that, 280 something volts? That's fun. You could get some power out of that, but you'd have to power the air compressor. So, no go. Okay, you guys aren't gonna believe this. So I have the turbine out there without this housing on it and a nozzle hooked up to the end of the hose. Let me show you how many volts it's making now. 40.8, 40.7. Let me go show you what that looks like. Here it is all set up. Look at that. That's all it is. I took off the, the other valve header and I replaced it with this uh, garden hose connector. And then this, I removed the housing like I said and then it's just held there with those uh, screws holding it off. So that's awesome. All right, I have it hooked up to a 12 volt battery and it's putting out um, 0 0.06 amps. That's direct charging it. Uh, so that's interesting. 0 0.06 amps at 12 volts is so 0 0.06 amps times 12 volts is how many watts? Almost a watt. So I guess this would be enough to trickle charge the battery, which would then be enough to charge a cell phone or like. So that's uh, interesting semi-successful results that I was not really expecting from that configuration. Glad you liked it. Um, I don't know what else to say, but hey, that's something. Um, stick around, I have more coming.